Good day, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are having a great day so far. So we will solve a quadratic equation today. Here you go. Says solve y over 10 minus 1 is equal to 8 over 5. So we see 10 is in the denominator of the first term and you can assume 1 is under 1. So this can be written as y10 minus 1 over 1 is equal to 8 over 5y. What does it mean? We can multiply the numerator and denominator by the same term, which is 10 in the second term on the left-hand side. So now it becomes y by 10 minus 10 over 10 is equal to 8 over 5y. Since they have a common denominator of 10, these two terms can be simplified as y minus 10 divided by 10 is equal to 8 over 5y. Okay. Now multiply both sides by 10. Okay, so this is, uh, maybe I should put a parenthesis and get rid of this. So, so multiplying by 10 on both sides. I'm doing that to remove the 10 from the denominator on the left side. So on the left side, I will be left with y minus 10 is equal to, now 5 goes into 10 two times. So I have 16 over y. Do not, please do not quit right away. Please wait. Please watch this video till the end. I will give you an important tip at the end of this program. Now I have to remove y from the denominator of the right-hand side. So I will multiply by y on both sides. Okay. So this y will cancel with this y. So I have, I'll distribute the y on the right-hand side. I have y square minus 10y is equal to the y, y cancel. So I have just left with 16, okay? So. Now I will subtract 16 on both sides. So I will get y square minus 10y Okay, I made a small mistake so let me clarify that. This is uh, this is um, in the original problem it was minus 8 over 5 y. So the minus sign will be there. Minus 8 over. So maybe I should write with the blue. Minus. So let me erase these red. So minus. There was a minus sign in the original problem. So if I move this a little bit up. So, this is minus, this is actually minus 16, so I'm going to add a positive 16 on both sides. Okay, so minus 16, and uh, let me write this clearly, this is, I'm adding plus 16 on both sides. So y plus, because it was minus 16, this y and this y will cancel, right? So I'm left with minus 16 on the right-hand side of the equation. Okay, and then I add 16 on both sides. So I get y square minus 10y plus 16 equal to zero. Now, if I move up a little bit, I'm looking for two factors of 16. Uh, so if I compare this equation with 
a x square plus b x. This is b. Let me write it clearly. Plus b x plus c is equal to zero. My a is one. My b is minus ten, and my c is sixteen. So a times sixteen is a times c is one times sixteen is sixteen. What are the looking for two factors of sixteen? For two factors of sixteen, which when added together, which when added together, added together will give b equal to minus 10. So, so 16 can be thought of as minus 8 times minus 2. Okay. And notice also minus 8 added to minus 2 is minus 10, which is B. And this is AC. So hence we can write as Y square. So we can write Y square minus 10Y plus 16 equal to 0 as Y square minus 8y minus 2y plus 16 is equal to 0. So we will factor them in pairs. From the first two, I can take a common factor. First two terms, I take a common factor of y out. So I'm left with y minus 8. From the last to third and fourth term, I also want to get a y minus 8. And the only way I can do that is if I take a minus 2 term outside two common factor, then it becomes y minus eight. Y minus two times minus eight is positive 16. So let me clear that. And this is minus eight, okay? So if I now move up a little bit, what do I get? I, from the, both the terms, the common factor is y minus eight. So y minus 8 from the first one, I have y left over. From the second term, I have minus 2 left over equal to 0. So either y minus 8 equal to 0, add 8 on both sides, y is equal to 8, or y minus 2 equal to 0. Add 2 on both sides, y is equal to 2. So what are the two solutions? 8 comma 2. Okay. So I will stop here today, but before I stop, I want to give you an important uh, hint or tip. The tip is that you have to have a common denominator on the left-hand side of 10 because there's already 10 in the denominator. So you think of one as one over one, and then you multiply by 10 on the denominator as well as on the numerator. So it becomes y minus 10 divided by 10. Now you have to get rid of 10 from the denominator. So you multiply by 10 on both sides. Five goes into 10 two times on the right-hand side. So you are left with y minus 10 is equal to minus 16 over y. Now you have to eliminate y from the denominator on the right hand side. When you want to eliminate from the denominator, you have to multiply on both sides by y. And then you get y square minus 10y plus 16. So your a is one factor coefficient of y square. You see the constant term is 16. a times c is 16. What are the two factors of 16, which when added together will give you B, which is minus 10. 
this will be minus 8 and minus 2. So you can factor y square minus 10y plus 16 as y square minus 8y minus 2y plus 16 equal to 0. Hence, the complete factorization is y minus 8 times y minus 2 equal to 0. Since the product of two, two uh, expressions is equal to 0, two factors is equal to 0, either one of the first factor is 0, which gives us y equal to 8 or the second factor is 0 which gives us y equal to 2. So there are two solutions 8 and 2. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment write me a note. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you like this video share with your friends. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. In my channel, Math Science Topia, look out for the playlist Algebra Problems where I've solved all kinds of algebra problems just for you. Okay, so please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And please do not forget to watch me tomorrow when I'll be back with another algebra problem. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.